So, how much longer do we have before we get to this Aquarius? Should be another month or so. Great. Well, I'll be in the lower decks if you need me. Don't be gone too long. Soon, my friend. Soon we will have our revenge. <laughs> Greetings, fellow travelers. I'm your host, the C-Dot that knows a lot, Dr. Waluigi. In the land of Canada, there are many talented authors who have gone on to make some of the best well-known books, which have become great movie adaptations. Unfortunately, this is not one of those adaptations. For today, we take a look at what may be one of the worst movie adaptations of a Canadian author. That is, the 1999 movie, Jacob Tutu Meets the Hooded Fang. I am but... The book is a part of a series of three books written by the late Mordecai Richler. The first book was later turned into two movies, one in 1978, directed by Theodore J. Flicker, and the other in 1999, directed by George Bloomfield. The rest of the series was adapted by Nelvana and Nine Story Entertainment as a five-season television series. The books center on a boy named Jacob Tutu whose adventures involve his active imagination at places such as his school. While the series is considered to be one of the few memorable shows from Canada, the movie is another story. The movie stars Max Morrow as Jacob Tutu, the youngest of four older siblings. He is often ignored and has to repeat himself to be heard by his family. He wants to prove himself to his family that he can help out, and so his father sends him out to get ingredients for dinner. However, when he gets to the grocer's, he is knocked out where he dreams that he is being sent to an island for bad kids because he disrespected an adult. I am but a The movie's cast is a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand, you have great actors like Gary Busey who turn in an entertaining performance. However, the other performers, such as the kid actors that make up the film, make it unbearable for a lot of adults to watch. I know I shouldn't judge these kids too harshly, but when you're dealing with a movie that has its entire cast be nothing but kid actors, it makes it hard to judge these kids since they clearly don't have any acting experience. I am but... The positives only come from the adult actors who portray the villains, such as Gary Busey as the Hooded Fang, or Mark McKinney and Miranda Richardson as Mr. Fish and Miss Fowl. Some of the designs for the sets are pretty good, and even the music at times is impressive. As for the rest of the movie... I am but a humble... What hits the movie hard is, as previously stated, the cast, as well as the writing. While I wouldn't go and say that this movie is the worst adaptation of a book, I find that it's too close to the book to the point that the movie has very little reason to exist other than for a school project. I am but... I know that this book is considered one of the best children's stories and has a strong message for kids, but I feel that this story hasn't aged well and I can see why it is judged as harshly as it is. I give this movie a rating of a 3 out of 10. If you are interested in watching a more well-developed while still keeping close to the original story, check out the 2003 television series. Although, with how the story holds up, you may find it hard to watch. Well, that's all for me, ladies and gents. I'm Dr. Waluigi, and remember, don't judge a book by its cover, because you'll never know what you'll find inside. I am but a humble servant of the law. Oi, Doc, we've just about arrived at the first gates. Come and see. Oh, wow, what a beautiful sight. Well, hopefully I can reunite with my friends. Yes, and soon I'll have my revenge on you as well. <laughs>